Anna, where's your buddy? Well, not that one. Where's Didge? <laughs> Quick shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. There she comes. It's a nice morning. It's gonna be a big day. I got home about two o'clock in the morning last night because we were gone on a little racing trip, which yes, there's video of it over on our second channel, linked down below. But for today, we've got the new to us LP tank coming and we don't have the piers in for it yet. So this morning they are bringing out the concrete pillars. We're gonna have to set those, level those, then the tank is coming hopefully around lunchtime. There's gonna be a crane here to lift that into position. Would you two, could you settle down? I'm trying to talk here. And the excavators will be out working on the shed pad more. I see dad is down here already. Get her. Not me. So right now they are digging the holes to put the pillars in. That's the, the concrete stands that the LP tank sits on. We've got the stands coming in 30 minutes or so. So they're gonna get those dug out and leveled off. And we got the tree guy out here finishing cleaning up the woods that we used to have. It's unfortunate, but we're down to almost nothing on that west edge next to the house there. The storm ripped it up so badly that there just wasn't much left there. And we got the Morton Shed guy out here working on squaring up the building just to make sure our pad is looking correct. This will be what the excavators go back to once we're done with the LP tank. We are still squaring some things up with the Morton guy back here, but I see our truck with some concrete pillars pulling in the driveway right now, so I'm gonna run over and see what's happening over here. We got guys going in every corner of the yard. It's just a good thing that they know what's going on. And our crane is here, so that's waiting. Well, we got the pillars pulling in right now. Looks like they're gonna take a couple more scrapes out. I wasn't over here when they had their little powwow, but we're close. We spent some time measuring there. The old tank is eight feet around. The new one that's coming is seven feet. So we've got to make sure that the holes are the correct depth to fit those pillars because the bottom of the new tank has to be a foot higher in order to level out the liquids just right in the tanks because so the tops have to be level on the new tanks. I can't explain it well, but I know that it is the way it is. They're gonna pull some rock out of there right now, put it at the bottom of those, those holes for the pillars to sit on so they're more solid. And then we've got DHS grain set up over here with the crane to lift those pillars into place. Don't worry about that little guy right there. That's the old, old line to the dryer that we're just reroute. So it looks bad, but it's, it's fine. We knew. They must sell a bunch of things. They must, yeah. So you knew that well, right away that, that Michael Kruger from Westmore said, well, yeah. Sure. You gotta go that way more? We have to go this, yeah, about two feet, foot and a half. Because of the way the new tank is made, and we don't want to set it on any welds, we've got to move the whole thing about 15 inches to the south, and then make sure it's squared up so that we don't end up closer in the front or the back with the other tank to the existing one.
Pillar one is finished and in place and square with this tank. They're gonna backfill that hole a little bit with some rock. Truck's gonna come around and get the second pillar over here and we'll set pillar number two. We're good on this side. Yeah, you can feel the trailer relaxing. That was a cool trick. Pillars are set. They're just gonna backfill some sand into there then and cut around here a little bit. Time to go eat some lunch. And they're still working on cleaning up what's left of our grove, which is just about nothing. Not really anything left of the west side of our woods here. It's kind of sad, but once it's all cleaned up, it'll be fine. At least I'm gonna tell myself it's gonna be okay. Lunch was good. Time to see what Didge is getting into in the back of the shop now. She must have a critter cornered. Didge, what's over there? What do you think you got? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where is it? What is it? Hmm, I don't have the time. Sorry, Didge, best of luck. After these messages, we'll be right back. As you guys know, we've got a lot going on here and it's nice to be able to keep an eye on everything even when we're not around. And that's why we've got this whole place outfitted with a 24 seven home monitoring system from Simply Safe. For less than a dollar a day with no long-term contracts, we are able to keep an eye on everything that we want to. Including of course, but certainly not limited to temperature. Water, smoke and carbon monoxide, glass break, motion. They've got indoor cameras, they've got outdoor cameras, doorbell alarms, video, you name it. And it all came right to our door. I was able to set it up all by myself. It was really, really easy. It took 15 to 30 minutes. And now we've got 24 seven monitoring so that if anything should go wrong, they will dispatch the police or the fire department within seconds of something happening. They've actually got an advanced response technology that confirms that the threat is real because there are a lot of false alarms when it comes to systems like this, but simply say, uses a special technology to make sure that the threat is real. Uh, the system will ignore things like your pets and pay more attention to people. Like I said, I was able to set it up in just a few minutes. One of my favorite parts was how easy it was to actually connect all of the different pieces of the system that we had installed to the remote, the base station, and everything to the app directly on my cell phone. It was really, really easy to connect everything and get them up and running. I'm certain that there are several of you out there that could benefit from a plan just like we do right now. If you are interested in saving 20% and getting your first month for free when you sign up for your own interactive monitoring plan, all you have to do is visit simplysafe.com slash millennial farmer, which is also linked down below. So check that out, simplysafe.com slash millennial farmer, and you can decide exactly what you want to protect and monitor on your home or place of business. Simply safe on home. I think I should fast forward about an hour here. I don't know how to, like I'll, I'll snap, but. There, now they got it kind of leveled off. We got some rock under there and a weed mat to hopefully keep the thistles down. 
They're gonna do uh, some rock along the edge here to berm this up, but this is all we need before the tank comes out. So pretty soon, we got Dieter, the guy that owns the crane, he's gonna come back out here. We're gonna move the big diesel tank with his crane, and then we got this tank finally coming. Our project now that Dee does here with the crane, a little bit later, is that we are going to get that diesel tank up on this trailer and move it over to the other end of the yard for about the next year. Because it used to sit here, but we need to move it away from the pad for the shed so we can work on the shed before we finish everything over here and move it back. So in the interim, we are gonna move it over to the other end of the yard and set it on the bin pad and use it there. And I think this is the ladder. It's a, it's a portable ladder. That's gonna get somebody up there to hook the chains. Somebody. I thought it was gonna be me, but that's, that's Dieter up there. He, not me, he just looks a little like me. We're the same height, same build. I'm just a lot smarter. Dita, you want me to run the crane while you're up there? Sure. <laughs> Dita says the tank weighs 10,000 pounds. He's got a scale on that crane, so he's able to tell us what it weighs. Not all here, it looks like just probably that too would be okay, wouldn't it? So the tank came from back there. We're just gonna move it to the south end of the yard here, put it on the old bin pad where it's gonna work for now before we finish that shed and end up building a nice area there for all the tanks. We got some plans. I think we want it. It's gonna be easiest to get to this is the closest to the road, but it's gonna to be tough. We, we're gonna to have to watch that spout. Yeah. So I wonder if going out here is gonna be better, safer. Yeah, and then we can, yeah, it's got a 40 or 50 foot hose. And in the meantime, we've got a, an LP tank, a metal hot dog. You want this under there? I think this will be fine. But now we move the crane, bring it over here, it'll back the trailer up and we'll set the tank. Little bit of activity today. Now we're checking the distance and the height on the crane. So Dita in there's gotta do some math. I'm gonna let him do it. You're about level with the piers now. Up a few inches. I would probably go up six inches. Yeah, you're 
you're well above it now on this end. That side's a little lower, you can maybe see that. You're well above both piers. You got about a foot of clearance on the piers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go three, four inches to the east. Yeah, we just put it down a little ways to see how. Oh, you need to go to the east more? Probably will. We're right on this seam. So you probably better go off this way a foot in order to get it to roll. That's a foot there or more, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're pretty far out. Yep. Yeah. Now I'd say if you start dropping. We've got to rotate it now. We've got to get these valves to the top. I suppose we'll want to watch that board to make sure it sits in there. Yeah, we'll stop it. Or I guess we can lift it again and set stuff it under there. To lift it. Add more board, I guess. Yeah. Probably can you go out just a little bit and then then lift. It's amazing how quickly a guy feels relieved though once it's cradled. Yeah, it's better after just turn more. But we got to lift it up and move it this way anyway. strap we had around the around the opening there broke as we're trying to twist get the excavator to help pull just a little bit on one of the other spots here. We've got to make sure we get it rolled so that the top of the tank is at the top to be plumbed correctly. We got to be close. Okay, is it level you think? It's damn close. I yeah. Think, I think it's where we want it. Yeah. Is that far enough apart, you think? I think so, as long as we just get it up. He's going south? He's going to go up and come north. North. Stop right now. We either got to go one and a half. Oh. You're on that pipe, though, right? Do we need to quit there? He's got about three inches. Yeah. You maybe better quit there, huh? Yeah, we can't really come any more forward. South two inches.
if we're if we're a couple hey Nate we're a couple degrees off we're I don't be, think that's gonna matter it shouldn't right how are the top is the top fairly level it's at 11:58 instead of noon so I mean this way yeah I think that's okay what we want to make sure of is that the tops are level with each other and even and everything I see from up here makes them look pretty good now obviously this one's a little it's up higher a foot on the bottom because it's seven feet instead of eight but it looks perfect from up here with the other one simple as that then we're done Just doing a little bit of landscaping just to keep this ridge from washing out here make this a little nicer and then we'll be able to keep the grass and the weeds down in here I think we're gonna extend it out to the fill as well finish all this off well see you later <laughs>